first of all, this is our very basic dashboard that we are building out every single day, right? I think it's it's still really cool, especially for those of you guys that are using Excel spreadsheets, you're using Google Sheets, you have nothing like this, unless you're using some type of BI tool where you're kind of, you know, pulling all your data out, creating different types of dashboards. We can, we can manipulate this any way that we want for each specific customer. And the other thing is we are using auto, aka ChatGPT, to also kind of make this dynamic, right? So this isn't just throwing out numbers that, it, that we're, we're calculating. This is actually looking for common areas for the agents to improve. That's actually coming from ChatGPT as it's looking for all of the different evaluations that are coming back. And we're presenting those kind of as your overall company um, kind of, I guess, issue list or things that maybe overall from a, from a macro level that you might need to look at. Obviously, we have the scoring of the agents um, as well. But when we get into the actual form, right? And again, this is where seven months of work have, have really paid off. So all of the questions that you have on your actual form. So, you know, everybody's just canning us their Excel spreadsheet right? Their Google sheet. This, these are the 15 questions. These are the 30 questions. These are the five questions that we have that we're QAing. Can you, can you kind of mimic that? And I will say, not only can we mimic that, but we can take it to a different level if you're ready to have your agent scored on a different level. So again, everything from the very basic kind of binary black and white things, did the agent thank the customer for calling right now? You could, we could just say, Hey, in, uh, in this transcript, did the agent thank the customer for calling? We could say that, but we have found that it's much better if we give context and we say, hey, we just don't want the, to ask the customer for calling, but are they using the proper a proper tone with it? Um, are they just kind of going through the motions, right? We can add all of this context in and in, into the, the, the prompt for each of these specific questions. As you see, for this just test, all of these prompts are pretty in-depth, right? There's nothing that is just, you know, one or two lines. Everything has been really, really thought through over the last couple of months of what really works, what gives us the best outputs, and what is the most consistent output. Some of the stuff that excites me the most um, is, let me, I think it's 780. Oh, for a sales contact center, right? A lot of you guys have come and, and said, hey, Tom, we have a sales call center. We do record our calls. Can you can you help us with, can auto help us with, with some of the aspects of the sales? And the answer is yes, right? So again, do the agent use assumptive language? Or verbiage? Did they did they use proper verbiage? Did they probe um, a specific customer? Right. So those are all things that we can pick up um, and and have done a really good job, I think, with the actual context of the prompt, uh, matching the pace of the customer. I think my favorite though, and I of course I can't find it now, um, was is empathy. Right. That was a big question. Like how how do we have auto and I'll you know Chat GPT really correlate to empathy. If you guys have been following me at all, you know that we have our full empathy prompt that I posted, right? And it is crazy in depth with a bunch of if thans. It's not just making sure that that agent like analytics, right? Analytics just say, did they say this on a call? Right? Well, we're going much deeper into, you know, did the customer have an issue? Did the agent actually affirm that? Did they say something that actually correlates to it or are they just being a robot and saying the same thing? Right? Over and over to every single customer and not really showing full empathy. So again, showing you this, we have a, a scoring, right? So this is the number of score or points that, that, that this question is. And then we have, how do you want this scored? Binary meaning yes or no, right? The agent did it or they didn't. And we can also do rated calls, like on a scale of one to 10, right? So if we have customers that say, hey, Tom, this is a zero, this is a 10, this is the perfect answer, this is a five, we do a really good job and auto does a really good job then of correlating you know, a one through 10 score. All right, so let's say we built this bad boy out. Everybody feels comfortable. Here's the other thing, guys. All of these core prompts, empathy, did they use proper verbiage? Um, openings, closings, did they have added value to the customer at the end of the call? Those prompts are already built, right? So this thing can scale very quickly to your organization. And all we're really looking for is the unique use cases for you, right? That we have to kind of pre-build a prompt for specific questions. For you and that's kind of where this becomes a lot of fun as well because this stuff we know works but it's now how do we tailor it to each specific customer so once we have that built <clears throat> we go to the analyze section and this is where we actually analyze calls now here's a couple things before i say this i know a lot of questions are hey tom can we just upload you know 500 calls or a thousand calls and have you do this 
And the answer is yes, but not right now. Um, at this second, everything is kind of manually done, but we have found some ways to manually do this extremely quickly where we can queue multiple calls at once. Um, so again, for one customer, like we said, we're doing 500 QA forms a day. It takes them about 10 minutes to set this up. If you, before we, they were doing 500 a day, they were doing 600 for the month. So you can kind of see the difference in not only the quality that they're seeing, but also the scale of what they can do for their customers. But how this would work is you, you just select an agent, you select the form. Um, we have some external ID things. So we're trying to get to the point where we can auto load your, your, your agents, right? So you don't have to manually do this. This is kind of in, in test beta mode. We then just go select a recording. And I have, you can see I've been doing a lot and we click the analyze button. If you want to do another one really fast, you don't have to wait for anything. Um, just go and do another one and it will start to queue um, all of your calls. So that's working. How this is, how the magic of this happens is as soon as that analyze button is clicked, right? We have the recording of your call because none of you guys, no one has transcripts right now, especially in the lower end of the contact center, the smaller contact center. We go get your transcript. It takes about two to three seconds, right? As you see the check mark here, this green check mark, that means um, not only is it back, but it's at ChatGPT. So we takes two seconds. We come, we have a static prompt for everything. And then we correlate that static prompt with your actual QA form. And then we add our outputs that we want for you specifically. And then we send this bad boy to chat GPT. And then we bring it back and we have the actual evaluation complete. So um, the evaluation, we're actually working on this as we're going. So, wow, this is pretty cool. They, they just did all the filtering. I've never seen that before. So this is good stuff. Um, but this is kind of how a form looks back at the end. Let's see here if we can get one that has maybe some no's so I can show you how we can correlate to some no's. Two, four, let's see here. That one's, let's get a smaller one. All right, here we go. So this is kind of how it looks, right? And this one has some no's and some NA's so I can show you um, what ChatGPT will tell you about how it's actually scoring. So we get the actual score of the call, right? We, we look at, at agent and customer sentiment scores. Um, was this customer positive? Was it negative? How was the agent? Um, we can correlate this a little bit differently for everybody, but this is four areas that the agent did well on this specific call, four areas for the agent to improve on this specific call. That verbiage might need to be changed a little bit, but it's on that call. Everybody gets a call summary on every single one of these. So here's the other thing. Everybody's paying a ton of money to auto summarize their calls, right? And we're just adding the call summary right into the actual output of ChatGPT or auto, right? So we then see the actual scoring of the call. So, you know, on this one, auto said, no, this cus this agent did not thank the customer for calling and we can actually see why. And then on this one, it's pretty black and white. Sometimes it gives a little bit more context. And that's the cool thing about the AI. None of this stuff is scripted, right? So not that we don't know what's coming back, but it changes. It, it all makes sense. But it's, that's the really cool thing. It's like having a human being actually scoring the call and telling you what happened, right? So they did not explicitly say thank you for calling. Um, we have other things like NAs, right? If, if there was no negative experience shared by the customer that required empathy on this call, so we're not going to score it a yes or no, chat GPT or auto, understands and knows that there was no oppor really opportunity for empathy, right? So it just scored it as an NA. So we're getting extremely detailed into what we can do from an actual scoring like a human being to where certain questions may not correlate into that actual call that you need scored. And your normal human being will be like, well, that didn't, that, that wasn't appropriate for that call. It didn't mean anything. And auto will look at that as well, right? Not a sales call. So it, it, there's no assumptive verbiage, we gave it an NA. The other cool thing too is all of your call types we have, right? This was just an information request, which then makes sense why there was no assumptive verbiage, why there was no, um, you know, empathy really needed. They just had a couple questions on something. Um, everything that how we how we score calls um, is really correlated again how the call types come in, right? Sales call have different questions than than a retention call than an information call. We can do multiple forms, or we can do one form. And ChatGPT, how we have it set up, will understand 
what is what, and we'll score the calls appropriately and NA the ones that are not as well. Having said that as well, once we have all this, you do not only get the dashboard, but you also get an employee dashboard as well. Um, so this right now, we just have set up as your 15 most recent evaluations. I don't know if you just saw, I never, I have not seen the, the advanced filtering that we just did on the evaluations. They're building that out too. So hopefully that's almost done today um, as well. So this is the, the scoring of the calls that this, this agent has had. This is the form type, right? We've been testing a retention form and a test overall form. And this is the different call types that have come in and how they've scored on different call types. So remember, if you're using Excel, like you're not getting any of this data on any of these calls, right? And so we basically taken what a human being can do. We've taken the thought process that the human being does, and we've allowed now AI to do our thinking for us so that we can spend more time on the coaching aspect. We can spend more time helping the agent actually get better and less time on the actual scoring.